I'm Natalie Pascarella. We start with the worrisome COVID-19 clusters in Brooklyn and Queens. That's where the surge in cases could force the city back to square one in the battle against this virus. People in six neighborhoods might face new restrictions, even a lockdown like the one back in March to keep the virus from spreading citywide. News 4's Andrew Siff joining us live tonight from Borough Park with the warning from health officials that really didn't go as planned there, Andrew. Right. For now, Natalie, the mayor thinks they can get this surge in COVID cases under control. But as you'll see, the problem is health officials can barely get their message across that masking up and good habits in terms of fighting COVID are necessary before this spread gets worse. Uh, the tremendous infection. The city's top doctors could barely get a word in. This is a message about health. Before hecklers interrupt it. When a man lies, you have to be interrupted. This you activist know. is Heshi Tischler, who refused to wear a mask. I will not allow the lies to be given out. And yelled at the city's public health team in the middle of Gravesend Park, a neighborhood with an alarming rate of COVID positivity. 6% and rising. Many here simply won't wear masks. Sir, you've I had your say. Wife. Now move away. Move away. away move away. You away. are not wearing a mask. You are the only person. You are not six feet away. Get out of this. Moments later, a similar scene after other health officials tried to speak and a different heckler interrupted, this time with expletives. No, I don't want to Tell the citizens and get the away from me if you don't like it. Get, get the, the out of here. The hospital's chief later told me the outburst is a sign of obstacles the city faces in getting mass compliance, especially in Hasidic neighborhoods where indoor gatherings are underway for the holidays. There are people who refuse to believe the truth. Uh, this is a deadly virus, and we have easy ways to prevent it. The day's events also upsetting to many neighbors who've seen defiant behavior in stores as well. I said to him, I guess you have to wait for someone in your family to die for you to wear a mask to understand how serious COVID is. The new cluster also raised questions about whether schools can safely open on Tuesday, like PS 164 in Borough Park. The mayor says there are no plans to shift to a fully remote school year. There's a hell of a lot of parents who want their kids in school, and we owe it to them to do that and to do it safely. And the new cluster prompted a new warning late today from the health department to private schools, including yeshivas, that they must enforce social distancing and masks within those schools. Otherwise, they face the risk of fines or even imprisonment. Live from Borough Park, Andrew Siff, News 4 New York. All right, Andrew, a lot to cover there. Thank you so much for the latest. Well, despite the threat from those COVID clusters Andrew talked about, there is some welcome news that many New Yorkers were hoping for. The city's experiment with outdoor dining has been so successful, it's going to be permanent. So how's it going to work when the weather gets colder? News 4's Ram Novini live tonight in Park Slope, Brooklyn, with some answers for us. Hey, Rana. Hey, Natalie. Yeah, restaurants can now keep their outdoor dining setups all year round. They'll also be allowed to provide heating. That was a big question in all of this. And for a lot of restaurant owners I talked to, it gives them a lot of hope. The expiration on outdoor dining has been lifted. The mayor announcing the Open Restaurants Initiative is here to stay, allowing restaurants to set up on sidewalks and roadways indefinitely. It has uh, some festivity. To the neighborhood. Overall, it's a pretty positive development for, for New York City to have this uh, more European style sitting outside. Diners are excited about the plan, and so are restaurants. It's, it's a nice way to try and help out most businesses that are going through a difficult time. The co owner of two restaurants on Fifth Avenue and Park Slope says they'll do what it takes to keep customers warm in the winter. Electrical heaters will be allowed on the sidewalk and roadway. Propane and natural gas permitted on the sidewalk only. And propane tank heaters first need a permit from the FDNY. We already have well over 10,000 restaurants participating. Almost 100,000 jobs have been saved. And we hope, I believe, this is going to make it a lot easier for restaurants to survive. I don't think it's going to help that much. The manager of Tika Indian Grill is skeptical. He doesn't think diners will want to eat outside when it's cold and hopes indoor dining will expand instead. A heat lamps, with heat lamps, it doesn't do much because even if you put a tent, the heat lamps is going to damage your tent. 
Indoor dining is set to resume at 25% capacity next week. Restaurants also have the option now to enclose their outdoor space. If they do that, they'll have to follow indoor dining capacity rules. Many restaurant owners saying they're glad to have some options. Having like the outdoor space and keep that for a year long, hopefully, and like expanding that hopefully like for next summer and all that might help as well. And the city also announced today that restaurants will be able to expand their outdoor dining space to in front of adjacent businesses as long as they have approval from that business landlord. Reporting live in Park Slope, Raina Novini, News 4, New York. All right, Rand, a lot of folks happy about that. Thank you. Well, in Westchester County, the road to recovery can include a weekend trip to the playground. Kids are going to be excited about this one. The playgrounds in county run parks have been shut down for months, but tomorrow, 12 of them will officially reopen. This includes the playground at Kensico Dam Plaza, Sprain Ridge Park in Yonkers, and Saxon Woods in White Plains. There are new rules, though. You can't use the play areas if your kids are sick or if the area is overcrowded. And everyone two years old and up have to wear masks.